morning students so today we have to discuss the last type of animal tissue and the last type of animal tissue is the nervous tissue okay now why this tissue is known as nervous tissue because this tissue is made up of a special cell and that cell is known as nerve or neuron so let's start with this tissue so nervous tissue is a complex collection of or the nervous system is a complex collection of nerves or neurons so nervous tissues what is the structural and functional unit of nervous tissue that is the nerve or neuron in the same manner you must remember that what is the structural and functional unit of kidney then there it will be nephron n e p h r o n in nervous tissue uh, nervous system sorry what is the structural and functional unit of nervous system that is a special cell and that special cell is known as nerve or neuron so this tissue is composed of specialized cells which are known as neurons and these neurons will transmit the signal between the different parts of the body so what is its function its function is to transmit the signal between the different parts of the body so this point is the function what is its location it is just like the body's electrical wiring so it is present throughout a body from head to toe okay so it is just like the body's electrical wiring a network of neurons is found throughout a body now let's start with the structure of this neuron so neuron is elongated thin structure okay three basic parts of neuron is dendron cyton and axon okay dendron or dendrites will receive the message cyton will interpret the message that what action has to be taken and the axon will transmit the message okay so here why this structure of neuron is known as dendrite it is just like a tree like a structure so that is why dendron it means wood or tree so dendrites these fine branches this is known as dendron this is known as dendron this is known as dendron and fine branches of the dendron is known as dendrites this part is known as cyton this part is known as cyton or cell body or perikaryon this part is known as cell body or cyton or perikaryon why perikaryon because this is nucleus and in latin term nucleus is also known as karyon so this cyton is surrounding the nucleus so that is why it is known as perikaryon or cell body okay the extension of it is known as axon clear now axon is covered by a layer of tissue that is known as uh myelin sheath okay and then myelin sheath is covered with neuro lemma myelin sheath is covered with neuro lemma lemma is for the plasma membrane and since it is covering the neuron so that is why it is known as neuro lemma the cytoplasm of neuron is known as neuroplasm okay the cytoplasm of neuron is known as neuroplasm so in the cyton the cytoplasm in it will be known as neuroplasm so this axon will be covered by a layer of tissue which is rich in fats and this is known as myelin sheath and myelin sheath will be externally covered with the membranous structure known as my uh, neuro lemma okay what you observe here the myelin sheath is not continuous okay so when the myelin sheath is not continuous the nerve impulse will show the jumping movement okay like the horse so the points where the myelin sheath is not continuous those points are known as nodes of ranvier okay the point at which the axon will start to branch itself will be known as axon hillock and these tips or ends are known as axon terminal okay understood it and the axon terminal 
will be in the contact with the dendrites of the other neuron okay and this space between the axon terminal of one neuron and the dendrites of the other neuron this junction is known as synapse this junction is known as synapse s y n a p s e okay synapse and this synapse is filled with special chemicals known as neurotransmitters neuro transmitters so these neurotransmitters will conduct the messages from the axon terminal of one neuron to the dendrites of the other neuron so certain egg, uh, neurotransmitters are like gaba okay so gaba is one of the neurotransmitter so this is all for today next class we will be starting with the next chapter thank you everyone